YouTube. Welcome to Beauty in the Empty Nest at the beach. Isn't that kind of cool? I wanted to get this fall favorites tag video recorded before hopefully the first day of fall. I don't know. This is a fall favorites tag video. I've never done one before. So I hope I'm not breaking any rules, but maybe I'm doing something a little different too. And it was perfect timing because one of the communities on Google Plus that I am a member of, it's Geeks and Beauties, I'll link everything down below, is just starting a sweater weather swap. So we just have our partners. And I thought this was great. This is just kind of great timing. So I'm gonna be tagging many of them also so that we can maybe use this also to share our favorites. So I'm also hoping that the audio sound is okay because I know the waves are beautiful, but we will hear some traffic down below. So I'm crossing my fingers this works because I thought this would be kind of a cool thing. So let me jump right into my questions. So I have, let's see, 12 questions that I will also post down below so that we can share this and make this become kind of a fun thing going on. So all about fall or autumn, whichever you want to, I think of fall, I know some people like autumn as the term, I'll just keep using fall. You can switch and swap that one out too. First thing, favorite things about fall. And I have my notes here down on my iPad. I had to think about that. I never thought of fall as being one of my favorite seasons. I think spring is. But when I think about fall, one of my favorite things is the first couple days I can take my boots out. I know it's fashion related, and I'm not always a fashion type related person, even though I love beauty products, and I love health and well-being and all of that. I'm not always a fashion stylish person. I just don't probably have that sense as much. But my first day of fall is when I can take my boots out. My long boots, my short boots, I have several pairs of boots. That was actually one thing that I thought was kind of different when I lived in Florida, I didn't wear my boots as much. Not that I couldn't, I just didn't always. However, that's one of my first thing. The other thing is I do like those first days of the crisper air. I live in North Carolina, so we do get some of the seasons. Not drastic as further north, but certainly very different than when we did live in the south or in Florida. So those first couple of crisp days of crisp air, where you take your sweatshirts out, and that's always really fun. I always like the first day or two that I wear my winter jacket. After that, I get tired of it, but the first day or two. Okay, least favorite thing. My least favorite thing is that it gets dark earlier. I don't like that. It just all of a sudden at five o'clock it's getting dark out. Ugh, I just I like it when it stays light longer and you can do things outside, like go for a run after you get home from work, or we like to take our dogs out on the golf course that is behind our house. When it's that dark, so anyway, that's the least that's the thing I don't like. Okay, favorite fall holiday? I had trouble picking one because I kind of think, I feel like they build up. First it's the Halloween, which is kind of the excitement and fun. And now that my kids are older, it's a different feeling. It used to be a different excitement in the air when the kids were younger, but now it's a little bit different because now my kids, whether or not they go out trick or treating, we're not going with them. So we're just watching the kids come to us. But that's like kind of the, to me, that start of it. And Thanksgiving is kind of fun. We do something very different for Thanksgiving. Maybe someday I'll talk about that but we don't have family right around us, so we don't do traditional meals. We just get all of our favorite foods, and sometimes it's Chick-fil-A nuggets, sometimes I make some types of different kinds of dip or breaded baked ravioli, whatever the whole family wants, we make. So kind of a non-traditional, traditional holiday for us. And then Christmas is always fun as far as just the festivity getting up to it, and then the idea of after that, you kind of have to have a few days to recoup before we get back into the new year. So, no, I don't have one in particular. I kind of like the way that they all build up. Favorite clothing item for fall? Well, I already mentioned my boots. I think the other one is, I love cardigans, like colored kind of different print cardigans. And there's something about that I just, I love that they, you know, the button down ones. I hope that's the correct term for them. But they're kind of button down sweaters and you can wear a different color. You can, they have so many different styles of them now, whether the big ones that they call boyfriend ones, I think or just the kind of prettier ones and you can wear a different tank underneath or so i really love those i also really love like soft sweatshirts so i think it depends on whether we're talking about a weekday work kind of environment or whether we're talking about whether it's the weekend so either one of those oh favorite makeup trend for fall i think the transition to sometimes the darker colors which i don't always play by the rules i will wear darker colors especially lipstick sometimes during the summer or deeper color eyeshadows during the summer. But I guess that official transition to where you can wear the deeper, darker plums and colors like that, which sometimes don't even look that good on me. However, <laughs> sometimes that transition to that. So I think that's my favorite. Um, let's see. Next question is sweaters or sweatshirts? 
I kind of answered that one earlier. It depends if it's during the week and I'm going, I'm working or I'm going out someplace I have to be more professional. More of the cardigan kind of button down sweaters, soft one. But the minute I get home or on the weekends, a nice sweatshirt. I have one that's all ragged and worn out, but it's thin, it's soft, and I just love that. Or hooded ones that really kind of make you feel cozy. Love those. Okay, another question. Do you change your makeup or skincare routine for fall? And if so, how? Definitely, I use much heavier duty lip balms and hand creams. I have some new ones I can't wait to try out that I've just gotten uh, that Tony Moly hand cream in the peach. I got that during the summer. I love it. I think it's going to be fantastic during the, the winter, which is when my hands get so dry. I also really like the Loctane ones. So I have a couple there that I love in all different kind of scents. I also love all my lip balms. So one of the, again, the Tony Moly ones, I also have a very inexpensive one that I will link down below that I really like, but I need heavier duty ones of those as well. So that's my biggest change. Um, favorite fall food or drink? Definitely peppermint mocha latte from Starbucks. That's my favorite one. I like the lead up again of the pumpkin spice latte up until, so that I like the first three or four and then something about them I get tired of them quickly, as excited as I am to have them. I do get tired of them rather quickly. But then I know that the pumpkin, pumpkin, I mean the peppermint mocha one is coming out and I love that one. And that one I could just, every single day I could have a couple if I wanted to. Probably should. Um, favorite fall scent? I think more of the pumpkin or more of that peppermint kind of one around as it gets closer to the holidays of, you feel more of that festivity in the air. Okay, the next question is, the fall TV show, show premiere you're looking forward to most? We have a couple that we really, really like. I think the one I'm personally looking forward to the most is Madam Secretary. I've really, really enjoyed that one a lot. We have a lot that we follow. We DVR them, of course, now. Um, but I really, really, really love that one. So I think that's the one I'm looking forward to most. Number 11, second to last one, is your favorite sports team event? I honestly don't really follow sports much anymore since we moved from Florida, so unfortunately I don't really have a favorite sports team. And then the last and final question is, favorite fall tradition? And I think it all comes down to the family kind of traditions that we've had over the time. So like I talked about the Thanksgiving one where we don't do the traditional turkey and stuffing that we kind of just bring our own food. So I think it's some of those, and now that my son is off in college and now he's coming home for those holidays, it really gives a whole different feel than it used to be when we were just, it was the same old, we were hanging around around the house, we just had a different day where we ate different things. So now it does give that little different side to it. So that actually wraps up the questions I have. I will leave these questions below. I'm looking forward to hearing everyone else's responses and to see, of course, I don't know if it's what you're supposed to do or not. If you want to add questions, go ahead. Tag some people. I'll be tagging, tagging about four or five people. I will be listing their names right here. I already have them in mind, but I will be tagging them. I'll be running the names right here. And also down below, I'll link all of their information, their social media pages, their YouTube channels, everything else, so that you can also follow them and subscribe to them. So I know this was very different. I hope that this was something kind of fun, exciting, and I know I'm much more casually dressed and not makeup that very much, because then we are now heading out to the beach. So thank you, YouTube. As always, please give me a thumbs up if this is fun and exciting. <laughs> and also then please subscribe so we can build our family and community. And until then, I'll also, I will end with some pretty um, beach video as well too. Goodbye.